Okay, here's an example using the functions. So this is the displacement function. So any time t, the distance from the origin, remember on this straight line motion, is given by the function s, s of t, which can be many different forms. But if we differentiate that for s dash t, that will give us v of t, as in <coughs> the rate of change of displacement is the speed. If we differentiate speed, so v of t, so v dash t, will give you a of t. So the rate of change of velocity is the acceleration. And obviously that can also be written as s dash dash t, so the secondary. So differentiate, differentiate again. So if you have the displacement function, you differentiate it, you get a velocity function with this, um, in terms of time. If you differentiate again, you get the acceleration function. This example is going to use that. So a particle moves in a straight line with position relative to O, the origin, given by S of t, so the displacement, equals t cubed minus 3t plus 1. <coughs> First part of the question. Find expressions for velocity and acceleration drawn sine diagram for each. So vt equals s dash t. So you just need to differentiate. So equal, I'm going to do it across so I have a bit of space on my, uh, on my piece of glass that I'm working on here. So that's going to be 3t squared minus 3. So that disappears. <coughs> so equals 3. I still need to go across, so take the 3 out, 3t squared minus 1, which you should see, difference of 2 squares so equals 3, t minus 1, t plus 1. So the sine diagram for that, it has zeros at 1 and minus 1, it's a positive quadratic, so it's going to go positive, negative, positive, so it's going to go like that, so this is v of t, it's got as 1, sorry, minus 1 and 1. And as I say, it's positive quadratic, so it's going to be positive, negative, positive. Right. And then we differentiate again to get the acceleration function. So a of t equals v dash t equals, so we differentiate this. So that is going to be bringing the 2 to the front, 2 times 36, that will be 6t, that will disappear, 6t. And that's a very friendly function. <coughs> it has a 0 at t equals 0. It's just a straight line. Imagine thinking y equals 6x, gradient 6. So it's literally just at 0. I'm trying to line these up. It has a 0 at 0, and y equals 6x, and a very steep line like that, so it's going to be negative on this side, and positive on that side. Right, I've already run out of space. I, I might be able to do part B on here, so initial conditions. Conditions. Initial conditions, so initial conditions, e.g. when t equals zero. So initial conditions when at time zero, so when, when we begin these initial conditions. So we need to find s zero equals, so you go into here, zero cubed minus three times zero plus one equals one. Um, v of zero equals, so that can go in here, it'll probably go in here, so 3 times 0 squared is 0 minus 3, minus 3, um, I should probably put some units in, it is in uh, centimetres isn't it, centimetres and it's seconds, so cm, and this would be cm per second, and a, Zero is going to be six. Oh, I just said what that is. That's just zero. So zero, and that this sort of doesn't really have units if it's zero. If it did have units, it would be centimeters per second squared. If you do physics, I'll probably be a lot better at that. So initial conditions: particle is one centimeter to the right. of origin, so 
oh, that's the, the one here. Traveling at constant speed. I know it's a constant speed because the acceleration is zero and it's minus three. Constant speed of three centimeters per second towards the left. I know it's going left because this way is positive and it's, um, it's a negative number.